You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hello YouTube and welcome to another lazy style video where I edit a lot less, give you a quick opinion on something you asked me about, and we keep it moving. You don't see my face, but if you need to see what I look like, well, here you go. Let's get on to today's topic, Kim Kardashian. The one that gave the absolute best advice, as so she thought, to women to be successful just like her. Get your fucking ass up and work. And when I say best advice, I mean it triggered everyone and pissed people off, especially on the internet. Well, now she's triggering people again. Why? This time, because she decided to wear a dress and get this, she decided to lose weight to be able to fit in it, and people did not like this. So many of you sent me this video. Let's check it out. And so I looked at them and I said, give me like three weeks. And I, I had to lose 16 pounds down today to, to be able to fit this. But I it was That's such amazing. a challenge. It was like a roll. Right. I was You're determined. So that was the mini clip that got sent to me and got people triggered. People in Hollywood losing weight and talking about it. Uh, isn't that pretty much what Hollywood does? Where have y'all been? But it's not another day if people aren't getting offended by what celebrities decide to do with their bodies than blaming them for their triggers. So. Anyway, someone who got upset was Lily Reinhardt. I don't know who she is, but Lily is an American actress. She is known for portraying Betty Cooper on the CW teen drama series Riverdale and Annabelle in the comedy crime drama film Hustler. Like I said, don't watch any of these shows. I watch cartoons, don't know who Lily is, so I don't know her background. But what I do know is that she absolutely slammed disgusting and fucked way Kim Kardashian starved herself for Matt Gala. Gala whatever it's called. Rich people on red carpet wearing very expensive clothes, or if you're Katy Perry, a hamburger suit, which I support completely. But apparently Lily is very disappointed in Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Glam isn't worth glamorizing unhealthy behavior, according to Lily Reinhardt. The actress slammed what she called the disgusting choices of those who put the glitz and glam of the Met Gala over their own health and then speak about it allowing vulnerable fans to hear about their choices. Here's the thing for me, and I'll try and remember to go deeper into this later, I just don't wanna lose my train of thought. At least Kim is being honest. Many people want to look like celebrities or have certain physiques, right? Would you rather Kim lie and say, oh yeah, I just look like this naturally. Or I, you know, did this little um, diet pill and now I look like this, which she did used to do, but she didn't. She told the truth. She pretty much had to reduce her carbs and sugar and calories to get into a dress and lose a certain amount of weight in a small amount of time. Also, the reporter freaking asked her. Tell everyone, cause see, I know the process it took to get in this. Tell everyone the process of this whole entire situation. And Kim decided to tell y'all. So once again, she didn't lie. Y'all always want people to be real. Well, she gave you the real thing that happened. I don't understand why people get triggered by this, watch celebrity type shows. It's always about the body and the looks and the money. That's like me who cannot stand watching people or hearing people eat loud and talk with their mouths open because they're disgusting cretins, decide to watch Amber Lynn or Nico Avocado or any of these other people that eat loudly on camera and then crying and saying, you triggered me. Now I'm having all these issues, oh my God, you caused this. When I'm the one that took my little finger and clicked on it. When I competed and I finally stopped, there were certain fitness models I just couldn't follow because I really loved their body and I wanted to emulate that. It would make me wanna go back and get into bikini competitions. And we all know nothing about bikini or bodybuilding is healthy. So what did I do? I didn't follow them. If I was weak and influenced to do something unhealthy, why would I click on it? Kim is known for her body, muted. Also, you had time, people that are upset. Reporter literally asked her, tell everyone the process of this whole entire situation. There's your trigger warning for the people that want trigger warnings. Even if she didn't though, and Kim K wanted to talk about how she ate half a carrot and sniffed oatmeal for three weeks, Kim's not responsible for anyone's triggers, except for her own and her kids, not yours. You don't like hearing that, but that's the truth. And if you keep letting other people control your triggers, well, hun, you're gonna spiral out and be in a world of depression. Look at all those people that complain about triggers and no trigger warnings. They are literally usually upset set and crying online all the time. Anyway, back to Lily. Hold on, wait, one more thing. People who look to celebrities to be their mentor crack me up. Hollywood is a very triggering place. Your little Twitter rants aren't gonna stop it. Okay, now that I got that out, 
back to Lily. To walk a red carpet and do an interview where you say how starving you are because you haven't eaten carbs in the last month, all to fit in a fucking dress? <laughs> Girl, Lily, don't look into bikini competitions. They do a lot more than starve. You gotta work out while you're hungry, people dehydrating. Guys, it's getting bad. So many people are dying in the bodybuilding industry right now, but people either, you know, do it or they leave like I did. So wrong, so fucked on hundreds of levels to openly admit starving yourself for the sake of the Matt Gala when you know very well that millions of young men and women are looking up to you and listening to your every word. The ignorance is otherworldly disgusting. I mean, I get what she's saying, but at this point we know she does unhealthy things and I've already gone through the whole she's not responsible for other people and their triggers, nobody is. Whether she's an icon or not, I really wanna stress taking responsibility for your own problems talking to your kids, because there will always be a Kim Kardashian saying she will just starve herself to fit in a dress. You can't stop it, you can't control it, but what you can control is yourself. Yes, well this is Marilyn Monroe's dress, and um, it's 60 years old. Oh, I forgot, people are very upset that she bought a Marilyn Monroe dress. Yes, Marilyn Monroe wore this dress, Kim bought it, and people are like really mad about it. Like, what are you gonna do? She's rich as fuck, guys. What are you gonna do? Buy the dress? <laughs> okay, open your bank account right now. Come on. Okay, so you can't, right? Who cares? Rich people doing rich people shit. People are so mad though. How on earth did she get her hands on this dress? And why would anyone let anyone else but Marilyn wear it? It should have stayed in the museum. I don't know, like what can you do? You can, <laughs> you can go sign your petitions, I guess. See if that does anything. There's this comment that I thought was pretty interesting as well. Dresses are made to be worn. Marilyn wore many icon looks throughout her whole life. This is an opportunity for her to be remembered. You know, and I think that's a nice way to look at it. I don't know, I think it's cool that she wore such an old dress by an icon, and I also think it would be cool to see it in a museum. I, I don't know, I'm not super attached to material objects. Did it make me think of Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, it was really cool to see. I also saw comments saying, this just proves that Marilyn Monroe wasn't fat, and people were getting extremely upset in the comment section. I just wanted to point that out, but I thought it was funny, because Marilyn Monroe definitely was not obese. Anyway, it's not something I have much of an opinion about. She bought a freaking $4 million dress, okay? Back to this interview that triggered many, and now we all have EDs. Since I haven't eaten carbs or sugar in about three weeks, we're eating pizza and donut party back at the hotel. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I'm not saying this is great, but I am saying that this is very similar to bodybuilding. The final few weeks when you're trying to get to that certain physique for one day, which, you know, the Matt Gala or Gala is like one day, you lower your carbs, you lower your calories, but your workouts are still happening. And no one in bodybuilding, as far as I have seen, is saying that this is healthy. And I watched this whole interview. She never said what she did was healthy. She said that she had a goal. She wanted to fit into a dress and that's what she decided to do. She attained the goal. And now she's gonna go binge on pizza after the show. Another post-show tradition of mini bodybuilders. But Kim did this for pure aesthetic reasons, not health. She never said that she did it for health. She did it to fit into a dress that she really wanted to get into. Apparently it was very important to her and that was her choice, right? Her body, her choice. Women should do whatever they want, express themselves, be truthful. She did all of those things that many preach for. And I'm not a Kim Kardashian stan or fan. I don't even really look at what she does unless you guys send me things, but I do think she's gorgeous. I hate the blonde hair, but her body, her choice. You want your hair to be almost the same color as your skin girl do it all right once again back to lily the ignorance is otherworldly and disgusting please stop supporting these stupid harmful celebrities whose entire image revolves around their bodies okay so uh, lizzo <laughs> and all those body positive influencers that literally only talk about their bodies like it's their personality. Guys, I know Lizzo has a music career, but the main thing about her that people love her for and makes her different than other celebrities is that she's fat. Also, like Lizzo, who has other things going on other than their body, is Kim Kardashian. She does have other businesses. I am not generally an angry person, but I swear to God, the toxicity of this industry sometimes really gets to me and I have to do my little Instagram story rants to release my rage. Girl, 
girl, release it. I mean, yeah, the world is toxic. Also, toxic is subjective. I didn't find what Kim said was toxic, but because I'm in such a good place when it comes to food, and I know that it's not a permanent change, and I know Hollywood isn't healthy, Kim Kardashian and her little three-week diet doesn't affect me at all. Even if it did, not her issue. And if someone I know who is young or anybody says, well, Kim Kardashian lost 16 pounds in three weeks, I'm always the person to explain to them that it's not very sustainable. And it was for pure aesthetics. You want to have a body you can sustain or you want a body that stays for a night and you have to eat tomato slices to get it. It's just not realistic to control what other people say, Lily, especially if someone asks. When people ask me how I got in competition shape, I am up front. I wanted a burger, it was miserable. What if they snapped at me and was like, you're triggering me. But honey, you asked. Sounds like a personal issue to me and I'm not your therapist, therefore go complain to them. Or rage on Instagram stories like Lily, I don't know, I don't think it helps, but you can try. Why is everyone trying to justify she lost 16 pounds in a quote unquote healthy way? Bro, what? Who's saying that? Y'all gotta understand that she is not wrong. It is very triggering. To who? You? It's not triggering to me. Stop thinking of yourself, guys. Actually, when people sent me the, the whole clip, I didn't know what they wanted me to react to. The diet talk was pretty short. And then I read the comments and was like, oh, forgot. People listen to celebrities and have them affect their life. Y'all, I am telling you, watch cartoons. That's like all I watch. I'm in such a great goofy place. I can see humor in almost anything. And I don't take many people seriously. I don't watch these type of things, but apparently many do. And that's why people are mad. And now it's time for you to tell me if you're mad. I wanna hear it. I personally think the most offensive thing is how she walked in the dress. Like she needed food. Girl was lethargic. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't